Hi, good morning and welcome. This morning I'm doing a slightly different video and it's basically just a, a review of a product I purchased recently. It's not a sponsored video, they haven't asked me to do this. I just feel like I really need to do this and to share this information out with you. New frames, new glasses um, and it's from a company called Firmu. You You've probably seen them many times before advertised on your YouTube channel. So when you're watching things, you might have seen adverts come up. You may have seen them on Instagram. And I know people have done reviews of them online as well. To be honest, I think I did a review of them probably about two years ago. Um, again, my channel was a little bit smaller then, so I don't think I had that many views for it. Um, but I just need to tell you about these glasses, especially if you've got a prescription like mine. I... For those of you who are regular followers of my channel, you will know that I, um, I've got an autoimmune um, illness. So I've got rheumatoid arthritis. And one of the requirements is, is that you are supposed to get your eyes checked every year. One of the medications that um, we take for, for the illness, um, it can mess with your eyesight. Um, so it can mess with the health of your eyes and it can mess with your eyesight as well. So each year I need to get my eyes tested. And what tends to happen is that my eyesight changes a little bit each year. So it'll go up, it'll go down, it'll go side, it'll go all kinds of different directions. It's usually enough for me to have to require a new prescription because if I don't, I suffer with, with how I see things, I get headaches and that sort of thing. Now, for those of you who don't live in the UK and you won't be aware of how much prescription glasses cost, they cost a bloody fortune. And if you're like myself, you don't want to wear sort of old crappy 1950s style glasses. Actually saying that though, some 1950s glasses are kind of cool right now, very retro. But you know, some old, old beady style glasses. You've got to pay for your frames. So frames, if you buy sort of like no, no brand frames, which are usually pretty ugly and plasticky, they will cost about £50, just the frames alone, especially if it's going to be of a quality to, to hold prescription glasses. You can't just buy um, sort of top shop frames and put your prescription glasses in there because the frames just will not last. You've got to buy a, a particular type of frame to do that. So a frame alone, minimum will be £50. If you want to buy a, a decent frame to actually suit your face, you're probably looking at over £100 for your frame alone. So that's just your frames. If you've got lenses like mine, so I've got really... I'm really short-sighted, so I'm very myomic, myopic, I should say. Um, so I'm one, I'm, what is it? I'm minus seven in one eye and I'm minus seven and a half in the other eye. So that's very, very short-sighted. Um, I've also got the, um, oh God, I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. I mean, your eyeballs are slightly shaped more oval rather than round. There's a word for it, beginning with A, and for some reason it's just slipped my mind completely. So I've got that as well. So usually um, when I go to um, sort of one of the two high street um, opticians, I tend to go to one of them, the one beginning with E and the second word begins with E. I won't say, but you know, VE. When I go to them, um, I normally have to get my lens thinned out. So you can get your lenses thinned out depending on how high your prescription is. Um, and in some of the opticians, they can't do it really, really thin. So I obviously, because I've got such a high prescription, if I was just to go for just a normal standard lens, my lens would be like this thick. It would be ugly i mean ugly 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 so you know when when i say thickness if you look at it from the side the lens would be sticking out quite a bit from the side so i obviously like to try and go as thin as possible and i think in the opticians on the high streets i think they offer they go as far as 1.6 that's the thinnest you can get i think i think that's right i think that's what ve offered me and to get that done with my prescription, I think it was like an extra £200, plus to get the anti-glare, anti-scratch, anti -scratch, um, and to get the photo the photo transition. So um, when I'm indoors, my lens clears, and when I go out into sunlight, it darkens into sunglasses. To get all of that, the, the lens itself, forget about the frames, the lens itself was about £500. So I argue and bargain, and they'll bring it down to about £400. So that plus my frames i'm looking at sort of usually between five to seven hundred pounds for a pair of glasses that's if i want to change my frames every year it's just what if i'm just going to change the lens i'm looking at about 400 pounds minimum i need to do this every year every year 
that's just too much so I decided no 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 so two three years ago I started to look online at various companies and there were quite a few um companies online that where you can get your glasses from um, so I did try another one. I won't say the name of the company, and they were they were they were all right. They were actually okay. Um, the price worked out to about half the price I would pay if I went to VE. So I've paid, so instead of paying six hundred seven hundred pounds, I was paying about two fifty three hundred pounds, which again is actually not bad. But even that was like, God, it's still a killer, you know, it's still a killer financially. So um, I found out about this company, Fermu. So I, I tried them. I thought, let me just get a second pair of glasses because I do like to have spare glasses as well. Because, you know, you don't want to just rely on your one pair of glasses. So I thought I'd get, I'd try my second pair of glasses with them. And I did get my second pair of glasses through them. And it was fine. And I got that. So if I show you what those were, I mean, I've got a few glasses going on here. Uh, where are we? So that was these glasses. You might remember them. Me wearing these. If I just remember, you might have seen me wear these ones all that sort of two years ago. God, they need cleaning. But th those were these ones. So these were the first pair of glasses I got from them. And they were fine. I was really happy. Cool. No problems. Right. I need to put my glasses on because I literally can't see. So my daughter coming downstairs so um i also got a pair of reading glasses from them as well um so that was my first set of glasses the following year i did the same thing went to ve got my pair of glasses and um got my prescription and then i went and got my second pair of glasses which you've probably seen me wear for the god all my glasses are dirty so you see me wearing these ones um for the last year and a bit so that's these ones. God, they're dirty. So those are the ones I've been wearing. So you can see I kind of went through this phase where I just liked the clear frames. I think that was a trend at the time and I kind of liked it as well. So that's what I did. And obviously this time I went to Mark Tishner's again in um, beginning of November and I said, okay, time for a new pair of glasses. So I've got my prescription. One of the things you do need to do, which is something that the UK opticians just will not give you. And I don't know why they're so precious about it, but I suppose that's how they can retain their customers. They won't give you the thing called PD, pupillary distance. Um, they will not give that information to you. So they'll give you your prescription because they have to give that to you. That's something you paid for, but they won't give you your PD. And the PD is actually really important because it's how they can tell where your center of your eyes in the spectacles will be so like the height and so forth so the post is just arriving so i might have to get up in a minute and uh deal with the post i'll wait for them to ring the doorbell before i go so yeah so that's something you don't do so um i, I was a bit naughty i asked the woman to to do something so she got up from the um computer in front of her and then she got up i just had a quick look at the screen just to see what my pd was i didn't know but i just wanted to make sure that i had the same thing so i saw my figure was what it was and I said right okay that's it so I quickly put it in my phone and that's it so I went through all the thing with the lady she, she measured the glasses and everything for me then I said look okay I just need to think about it because I haven't got any money at the moment I'm getting paid at the end of the month and I'll come back at the end of the month and, and buy my glasses yeah that's the last time they saw me so that was it so I came back came back home and I ordered I went on to the Fermi website and just went through the, the frames right excuse me I just got two deliveries there so I've got a subscriber mail so but I know that is um, a Christmas present for me for one of my subscribers Simone I see you I see what you're doing so I've got that and I've got my treasure dress so I'll film the treasure dress later when I come home this evening if that's okay anyway back to this right so I came back and I ordered um, a pair of glasses for myself and put the order through so when you go through to the website of Fermu I'm going to try and do some flash things now on the screen <laughs> it might not work but cross fingers I'll try and do that when you go through the orders they give you a whole selection of frames there's thousands of different style frames so you can go by your face shape if you want to you can go by sort of gender you can go by new styles arriving you can do whatever anyhow you want to choose your frames there's ways of doing it so if you want to go by color cat eye um wind fairer star square oval whatever how you want to choose you can do that what i um i do which is a facility they've got on the fermi website 
you can upload your picture so get a nice good close-up picture of your face so your face is clear you can upload your picture and then as you go through the glasses you can try on the glasses to see how they look on your face which is great because then you can see how it will fit um because i've been wearing glasses since i was what nine years old i kind of know what goes with my face now so i tend to know what width i will work for me what bridge size will go for me and what the arm length is so these are kind of things i kind of know if you're not sure for yourself if you've got a pair of glasses that you know fit you very well what you can do if you look at the glasses you've got at the moment on the inside of the arm so on the inside of the arm can't see very clearly but on the inside of the arm it will have all the measurements and things there so you can have a look so without oh god can't see right so for example on this one it's got the style um, it's got the style so the style here is s for sierra 3543x then it will have 51 so 51 will be the width of the frame i think it's diagonally that way so that's the width of the frame so that'll be 51 that's 51 millimeters then it will have 18 so 18 here is the width of your nose so that's the second number there so just knowing your bridge size and then the next one will be 140 140 is the length of the arm so that's how you do it so the first number will be the diagonal size of the frame yeah next number the smaller number will be the nose and the next one will be the arm length so the three digit number so if you're not sure what size will suit you those are things you can look for as well because then you'll know if the frame will fit your face just knowing those little things just kind of helps know your pd know the width and size of frames that actually suit you normally um you know again even if you've got a pair of like decent quality sunglasses they will have those measurements on there as well but obviously if you buy cheap stuff you won't have those things on the on the arm but it's usually always printed on the right side of the right arm of your of your frames says that so i tried various different style um, um spectacles and i decided on a pen i thought right i don't want to go for a clear one this time i wanted to go for something different so i i chose my ones set them through so what i chose through i chose my i chose put my prescription in so you can upload your prescription or you can take a picture of it upload it or you can manually input it yourself but make sure you put it in carefully make sure you got all the details correct so um, I manually put it in and I also uploaded my prescription as well just to make sure um, so you do that you put in all the, the lens details so the lenses you can have standard lens if you want you can have no prescription if you just don't want a prescription at all you can have a prescription you can have things like very focal multifocal progressive they've got all these different choices you can do so you put all those things in then you can decide if you want a clear lens or if you want a tint or if you want photo transition I always go for photo transition because I'm in and out I'm driving I'm all over the place so photo transition is when if if you go out into the sunlight the glasses will turn into sunglasses they gradually change color so I so you can choose the color of the tint so I chose dark gray because I thought that would work or did I choose dark brown I think I went for dark gray that's what I normally go for for these so when I go outside these will change to, to dark gray depending on the sunlight so I've tried that already and it has it's worked beautifully great and it changed quickly as well which is really good so you can do that you can you can also choose the quality of the lens as well so if you want sort of um, rain gas so the water just kind of comes off it falls off quickly or if it just sort of stays on um, you can have oh anti-glare um, anti-scratch I think anti-scratch is standard I'm not sure I think anti-glare might be standard as well I think they put that on all of the frames as well um, and there's all these different options and the little options they hardly cost it they don't cost much I think the most expensive option you can choose is the tint and the photo transition that's what really bumped up my the cost of my frames it was like $70 because I went for the, the top thing because again when it comes to my eyes I don't mess about with my eyes at all um, it's important <laughs> but I've got very healthy eyes I've got poor eyesight but I've got very healthy eyes and I want to keep that um, 
what else is there they do and I think that's it so you do all of that you put it all through my total for these frames came to a hundred and forty four dollars which was well not these frames the other ones the, the total of the other ones um, I chose was something like a hundred and ten dollars which is let's uh, work that out for you I just go to currency converter yeah 83 pounds 93 so let's just say 90 pounds 90 pounds uh, you know usually the the frame a cheap frame will cost 90 pounds so that's the whole thing it cost me sort of just under 90 pounds with the shipping and everything and that was it um it takes two weeks to come so when i got the frames through and it was like okay came through two weeks and as soon as i opened it so basically it comes in a package it comes by dhl you got to sign it so it was like six pound 95 i think it was shipping signed for delivery you know it's coming because they let you know they give you time slots of when it's coming so no excuses comes in a package it comes in a case like that so that's what it comes in protective sleeve um they usually got all different cards and discount codes in there i'll go through that at the end you open it up that's the case i mean the case itself is nice it's a nice hard case with like sort of like global prints on it open it up looks like that um, you get your cloth your cleaning cloth in there you get a little sort of medical thing as well to so you've got like extra little ring pads in there so I had the kind of glasses which had the little nose pads and you've got your little screw as well to tighten up your glasses so that all came in there as well but when I took the glasses out they looked like this and I was like oh crap what have I done here so I put them on because I was thinking this is wrong why why are they like this so and I thought oh wow style's really nice but shucks this is not right so yeah I looked at them and I thought right okay permanent tint that's not right and the other thing I noticed as well is that my so I always ask for very focal because obviously you, know, you see me when I'm trying to read I can't read anything because <laughs> the print's usually too small and I just can't read anything so I asked for a ve um, reading um, part at the side so the reading with no line so it's nice very focal and what I noticed is that the reading part of it was actually quite high. It's normally sort of lower part of your lens like that. But on these ones, they're actually quite high. So my central vision was kind of messed up. Nice and clear sort of at the top half. And it was all blurred and weird at the bottom. So that wasn't right. So I emailed them. Um, you know, they've got easy contact. You put your order number in. Easy contact. I said to them, look. For some reason the glasses they've got they've got a permanent tint and um the vision's wrong it, i think that you probably put the reading part a little bit too high up so they contacted me the next day so allow for the time difference they contacted me the next day and they sort of showed me they gave a copy of my order and basically i clicked on the wrong thing i put down permanent i put down a permanent tint rather than the photo transition so it was my mistake and they also said to me um look not a problem about the reading thing so when you do your order again um we'll just put down in the in the notes in the additional notes that you want your reading bit to to be lowered down so they said they said they could lower it down sort of like two to four i think they said sort of one to two millimeters and i was like right okay brilliant so i went back online oh, and this is the thing this is the killer thing that they did what they did they said well, um don't worry about sending these ones back because i thought that's what i was going to have to do is send them back and they said no, don't worry about that um just order a new pair we'll give you a voucher for the cost of these and then you just have to pay the additional for the photo transition because it is a little bit more expensive and i was like wow so literally gave me a voucher for 110 dollars I then went back online and chose another pair of frames and I went and chose these ones which were a little bit more expensive I mean I think they were like five dollars more expensive and I chose the right lens this time and in my additional notes I put down um, can you lower the reading segment of my spectacles um, by, by sort of two to four millimeters as much as you can do because I just thought well just try and get it as low as possible so two weeks later these came through so today is Thursday they these came on Monday put them on absolutely perfect went outside transitioned beautifully I was like yeah yeah to these people that's what I call customer service so I had to pay an extra bit because they were as I said these were frames are slightly more expensive and I had to do the um, the additional um, photo transition bit to get that correct so the new order cost $144 and $144 um, let's get this right call it 109 pounds and 10p so call it 110 pounds yeah so the whole 
this cost me 110 pounds you tell me when you're going to get high prescription glasses in this country photo transition 1.67 thinness for 110 pounds in the uk can you can you tell me anywhere it just doesn't happen over here and honestly they're perfect that no problems at all i've had no issues no headaches vision is perfect no problems at all so i would highly highly recommend because i just don't know why prescription glasses glasses cost so much in this country i would highly recommend you no know, if you're not sure get them as a second pair just to try the service out try these guys out they're so good if you're willing to wait two weeks I and mean, to be honest for my prescription in the the shop ve i have to wait two weeks anyway because they have to send these off to they normally have to send them off to germany to get the lenses made and in places like china particularly hong kong because i've been to hong kong and i've had my glasses made up on the same day you know they could do it there or there on the, on the day if it's low prescription they can make them on site but when you've got like high prescription like myself they do have to send them off and i think it's they have to send it off to germany to get them made so don't know why but it's just one of those things that gets done um what's going to happen with brexit i don't know if that's still going to be an arrangement i'm assuming it still will continue but yeah that's how um the glasses are so i really high rec highly recommend firmu they're just excellent service the choice of frames you know just use it you know just remember to have details of your pd so your your pu your pupillary distance that is really important so you they get the the center of your pupils correct make sure you've got that if you can know the the measurements along here so the your arm length your width and your what did i say the nose bridge i mean you don't have to but it's useful on the website as well try on the frames as well so do the whole um, upload your picture up as well so you can try the frames on which is kind of fun doing that you can see yourself on different glasses um do that and then yeah go for it i mean if, the price difference it's just you know six seven hundred pounds and versus a hundred and what did i say it was a hundred and ten pounds it is it's just yeah it speaks for itself really so there you go that's what i just wanted to show you so these so these now i'm i just use as sunglasses now so they're finer sunglasses and i've got these ones now and i've still got all my other glasses from way back when all right so i just really wanted to let you know about firmu um they've at the moment on the they've always got on their website um a, a buy one get one free so when i say buy one get one free it's like you buy one frame and you get the second frame free you still gotta pay for the the lens um in this box they gave me they've given me various 50 percent off codes so i've got a code here ola 50 i'll put that down below because that will work um I've also got a personal reference code as well, I think. I'm not sure what that gives you, but I'll detail it down in the description box. In the description box. See, I'm getting all words all mixed up. And I think in this one, what did they give me in this one? They did give me uh, another... Where's the... Um... <laughs> I've got so many things going on here. Where is it? Wait a minute. Here we go. I think they gave a Christmas discount thing as well, didn't they? yeah i've got a discount one here for christmas um it's the same thing 50 percent of merry christmas sales standard delivery yeah so yeah there's also another code here so you've got a 30 percent off lens so this will be useful 30 percent off lens code 30 christmas um that's available until december the 26th and you've also got a 50 percent off frame which is uh 50 christmas they're saying that code is available from december the 23rd to december the 26th so that's there put it on the screen and i'll put it in a description box down below but honestly i just say look don't give these guys over here your money if you've got just a, a prescription and you're okay with it get your pd somehow find out your pd finding out your pd is always a difficult bit because they do hide the pd from us that these bloody opticians in this country you can get these pd rulers which you can buy online for places like amazon ebay they cost like one or two pounds so you can do that and measure your pd and it literally is just like a ruler you put across and then you have to if it's best to get someone else to do it for you so it's a little ruler you look straight ahead and what it does from the bridge it measures the distance from the bridge 
to the center of your pupil so it's gonna be I don't know it's gonna be like 30 millimeters I think it is something like that between 30 and 40 millimeters it's never gonna be that much really is it um, so it's both sides so you can do separate ones left and right so it'll be 30 something on each side or you can do it as a as a joint PD so for example mine is 67 so that's that and I've got a different measurement on each side so you know because I'm not perfectly symmetrical so you, you can you can do that um, but yeah getting your PD is really important that is the most important thing you, you need to get so find a way of getting your PD and then yeah order away from Fermu honestly it's ready to go and yeah you can see the frames I got so these are the new frames I got guys Yay. right I hope you enjoyed that it was a little bit of an information I just don't want people to waste their money when they don't need to because things are getting expensive really really expensive so you know if you can save a few hundred pounds it's a few hundred pounds saved isn't it all right guys hope you found that useful thanks very much for watching um if well i was gonna say if you don't if i don't if you don't watch a video between now and the new year have a good christmas i will be filming a couple of videos over the next few days i'll try to anyway you know what i'm like i'll try and do a couple of videos definitely going to be a do, doing a treasure chest because that's just a riot all right guys take care see you soon thanks very much for watching bye